Thanks for watching with us. Chances are the paper products you use on a daily basis, whether it's paper towels or a notepad, come from right here in Northeast Wisconsin. But do you know how it's made? Our Gino Recchia has the answer. Paper is a multi-billion dollar industry in Northeast Wisconsin, and a lot of work is needed to turn a tree into paper products that you use. The process begins in two ways. Fresh cut wood that is turned into a pulp mixture, also known as virgin wood pulp, or taking recycled paper material and converting that into a recycled pulp. The Menominee Pulp Mill of Resolute Forest Products takes in 45 trucks of waste paper a day, collecting from homes, businesses, and more. These large bundles of paper products are put into a conveyor which takes it to a blender that will break down the paper into smaller pieces, a process that will eventually get it down to the fibers. During these steps, unwanted materials are extracted. We have multiple pieces of equipment at every stage to take out things like little pieces of ink, like the little staples that come with the recycled fiber uh, to take out uh, any type of uh, background products, that ash and that clay that come in with with fiber. Recycling paper does come with some waste. From 1,000 tons, only 670 to 700 tons of fiber are recovered, roughly 70% efficiency. But this waste does have some use. It's used as a soil spread on farmers' fields since it does have some nutritional value and also retains moisture in the field. The pulp is now in its purest form and goes through a machine that lays it out onto a flat mat. This machine will drain the water from the pulp. Soon after, this material goes through a series of dryers that loop through, making a mile's worth of hot air passes. At the end, the dried pulp is cut up and packaged, ready to be sent to its customers to make a paper product. While this is an intensive process, recycling paper into pulp does have environmental benefits. So when people take the time to recycle paper, that's coming through and it goes back into the marketplace making a new product. So it saves, it saves energy, it saves water, it saves trees. One of the Pulp Mill's customers is Badger Paper Mill Inc. in Peshigo, who takes this and transforms it into other paper products. The pulp is brought in and tossed into a large blender. This makes a mixture that's about 97% water and 3% fiber and other chemicals. This blend is laid out into a paper machine known as a wire. The water is slowly being removed and then goes through a series of dryers that turns this product into 97% fiber and chemical mixture and 3% water. As the sheet exits the dryers, it is now paper. Large spools at the end of the machine collect the sheets and take them to be cut into specific sizes depending on what the end use is. One line of paper is the post-consumer grade. That's the white paper that you use in copy machines. The other line is a specialty packaging paper composed of different wood fibers. And that blend is made into a special paper depending on what that end use is, whether it's a twist wrap or a cough drop wrap or an interleaving paper for cheese or meats. All these papers are specifically designed for their end use. While some of the paper is now done for end use, others continue down the chain to a converting company. Print Pro in Wrightstown has been in operation since 2001 and runs 24 hours, 7 days a week. They take rolls of paper and feed it into a machine. The rolls are webbed through a series of printers that apply various colors. The dryer then cures the ink onto the paper, which soon gets spooled into a finished roll and sent out to the customer. Some of the papers that they print include toilet tissue wraps, envelopes, ice cream tube stocks, and other various packaging. If you think about going into a grocery store or a gas station, everything is packaged. Uh, some of it in paper, some of it in film, but every single thing is packaged. And we, t as consumers, take it for granted. Uh, we rip it off and get whatever's inside and throw it away. But that all has to be produced, and a large majority of that is produced here in the valley. And just to show how big the paper industry is, even the converting machines are made in Northeast Wisconsin. Paper Converting Machine Company in Green Bay makes equipment that not only prints onto paper, but also converts the paper too. We convert it to everything from toilet paper and paper toweling, to facial tissue, to wet wipes, uh, to printed uh, subway wrappers, you know, anything paper that's got print on. The latest machines have a high-quality, high-definition automated process that goes through 1,200 feet of paper per minute. So the next time you use that paper napkin or grab a notebook, just remember that there were many steps needed to get that final product that you use today. Meteorologist Gina Recchi up, NBC 26.